Yes, welcome to FUYME TV. I'm Earl, Batman Stringer, and in this video, got another movie. Got another movie review. Uh, yes, if you read the title, you damn right. Safe Haven. That's right. I'm doing a review, and I watched the shit. All right. Anyway, I ain't really big on the on the the romantic was it nicholas sparks movies and all that shit but you know i had to watch it obligation but uh anyway so i'm like eh whatever and i saw the preview sword when it was in the movies didn't do nothing for me didn't care couldn't give a fuck less anyway just rented it and um you know watching it basically i'm sure you may have heard of it or seen it whatever but it's about this girl who at the very beginning of the movie she's she's running from something you're like, oh shit, I wonder what she's running from. She's running from this guy. She gets on a train or whatever it is and she disappears. Cliche shit. She goes to another place and starts a new life. Of course, she meets this guy. Of course, you know, in this little small town. And the guy falls for her and eventually she falls for him. And oh, it's just so romantic and lovey dovey dovey blah blah. Of course, her. In, in the movie, you realize that she's running from her crazy ass, drunk ass ex husband and shit, right? So, he eventually, her ex husband eventually tracks her down, and guess what? Motherfucker comes to where she's at. <gasps> oh, God, right? So, uh, the guy, the girl, which is played by Juliana Huff, um, the guy, actually, her new love interest. He realizes that Juliana is a fucking fugitive, so he gets mad for like 30 seconds till he realizes how good the ass was. And he's like, no, no, fuck that, Juliana. I'll protect you. I, I know you was a fugitive. You lied to me. You, you lied to why you were here. But you know what? Fuck it, girl. I love you. Your ex-husband come out. Fuck him up. That's kind of didn't really cuss like that because you, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, the husband comes to town, altercation, blah, 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 blah. Now, at this point, I realize the movie is almost over, and I'm thinking to myself, this shit was whack. I thought it was like, cliche, like, what the fuck? Nicholas Sparks, this it? I have seen this movie a hundred times. But, at the very end, it is, a, it is a little twist that I found nice. I found the shit was kind of touchy. I ain't cry like a little hoe, but it was a nice little twist that really turned the movie from a fucking lame ass love story and it kind of boosted it up to like wow that's 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 slick you know what i mean so if you haven't saw the movie well let me just rate it first i'm gonna give this bitch a four out of five and that's a damn good score damn good review four out of five for me it's the shit but it's a good movie and the re only reason i really made it like that is that ending man you know i'm all about endings and shit so if you've seen safe haven let me know what you think. If you haven't seen it and you're into that lovey-dovey shit, teary-eyed, oh my god, definitely check this shit out. It is worth watching. Um, like I said before, four out of five. Let me know what you think. I let the chain hang. Yeah, I'm tattered up. And I love the cuss. I just don't give a fuck. See, I'm just doing me. And you should do it.